Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with how to get Shiny Mew and Deoxys legit. And this is actually the final part of this series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, then good job. This is actually one of the easiest parts. Also, another thing, I was looking through YouTube and I think there might actually be a way to do this on US version. So, if you want to see that, let me know. I'll have to get a US version of Emerald because the Spanish version is the only one I have. But uh, other than that, I should be able to do that. But anyway, let's get into this. The first thing I did after I have beaten the battle pyramid, you have to do the seven or the ten uh, times in a row beating it at level 100 to get the gold battle pyramid. I'll show you uh, the pyramid symbol, the gold symbol. Wrong thing as always. Uh, right here. If you have this, you're good. If you are on Italian version, you can't do this, and you have to use a different glitch to go to Southern Island. Um, I probably didn't a link to the in the description of the last video. If I didn't, uh, I'll probably go back and check if I did. But uh, after you do that, what you're gonna need is in the last video, I totally forgot what this glitch Pokemon we got <laughs> was used for. Um, but you need it. You need it for this next glitch. So we got the the dugong and the glitch Pokemon. The other, the second question mark, not the first one that used the duplication. The second one. But uh, we put that in our party, and it's this one right here. It acts as a regular C dot. It's just level 100. And then you also want a Pokemon with Fly and Surf, uh, preferably Pokemon you don't care about because I, I saved Rayquaza and Kyogre, so I just wanted to use these two Pokemon to make sure like that's. What you do, and then you're gonna want your Banette with one HP, and the first three are gonna want to be fainted. The best way to do that is to go to Victory Road, and Golbat is your best friend in this because Hariyama sucks at killing your Pokemon, and Golbat does work. Now, C Dot is gonna be hard to kill the um, the question mark because he's level 100, but just work with it. He has a really low attack set, so you'll only be going through like a few Golbats before today he actually dies. Wingle and Sharpedo, in my case, were really easy, especially Wingle. Wingle's a pretty common Pokemon, you can find surfing and usually pretty low level, so that's easy. You get them fainted, then you do whatever you did to get the net um, 1 HP like always. Make sure he's got an HP up on. And then you're going to want to come to Slateport City and come over here. And yes, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the order it has to be. Uh, I'm not sure if these two have to be exact, but it's got to be the first three with this guy in your first slot, all fainted, and then Banette at 1 HP. So you're going to want to come to Slateport. You're going to want to talk to, I believe it's her, and you're going to want to save here. Now, this is where you're going to restart if something goes wrong, and it kind of sucks, but it's not horrible. But, uh, talk to her. Yes, this is it. And now it gets all super glitchy like so down there. You talk to the news reporter, and then you just keep hitting B, because you're going to want to do a, an interview, and you just want to hit no. And then you're going to want to go over to... The battle frontier. That's why you need your fly Pokemon. And while we're getting there, I just want to say the difference between using the southern island and the gold battle symbol, the pyramid symbol, the difference between them is basically if you get the gold symbol, you have a better chance of having this part of the glitch work. It's another RNG thing, like always, but, uh, it gives you a higher chance of it working. Also, there's a pseudo wudo here if you want to ever shiny hunt pseudo wudo. Oh, you have to battle the pseudo wudo. Shoot, do I have to actually. Gosh dang it. Let me see if I can get around this way. I might actually have to battle the pseudo wudo. Yeah, I do. Okay, so <laughs> I'll be back. Um. Let me just restart because I, I don't want that reporter glitch to do something while I'm trying to get the watering can. I'll be back when I get the watering can. If you want to know where it is, I believe it's, uh, let me get out of here. I believe it's, uh, right over, um, let me fly. I believe it's at this flower shop that's, like, right over here, right after, uh, uh, what is it, Petalburg Woods. So we're gonna we're gonna get that. I'll be right back when I get the watering can.
Okay, so save here. Go, uh, take your... I forgot to mention this last time, which I guess it's good that I screwed this up. But you want to do the palm egg berry thing on the Banette to get him to zero. You want all your Pokemon fainted. Then talk to her. She's going to do the crazy glitch text. And then just hit B a bunch. I can't believe I did forgot about the Sudowoodo that blocks you from getting to the cave. Wrong way. Okay, so fly over here. I'm gonna go up here. Up and around. Of course that guy's running there. Down here. Now, I'm pretty sure you can't encounter wild Pokemon here. Because I have yet to. I could easily search it, but I'm too lazy, so, uh, just don't encounter wild Pokemon. I don't think you can. Surf all the way over here. Okay, you're going to want to come to Naval Rock. Um, if I haven't mentioned, you want to go to Verdant Surf Town. It's the place between Mauville and Rustboro, the little town. Go to the Pokemart, and you're going to buy want, want to buy a bunch of fluffy tails, so... That is these, I bought like 90 of them. You probably only need like 40, because if you don't get it within 40 encounters, you're gonna wanna just reset, because that's a waste of tails. But uh, you're gonna wanna have like your Pokemon with the fainted Banette after you did the the reporter glitch, just like this, they're all fainted with the glitch Pokemon in the front. You're gonna wanna encounter Pokemon, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna chuck an egg out. And if this is based, this isn't based on uh, the game you have, it's based on if you've been to Naval Rock or not. So if you have never been to Naval Rock, which is us, which is probably most of you, your uh, bad egg, it's got zero HP, that's bad. It's uh, It needs to have 20 HP exactly. Um, so you're just going to use one of these fluffy tails and run, because you can't run away, it'll cause problems. It'll, you want the HP to be 22 if you have been to Naval Rock by via teleport. Um, if you have used an AR, like an action replay or cheating device, um... You want it to be 255, and and I believe with the cheating device, if you get it with, uh, you want it 255. I think the current, like the current HP, needs to be over 260. It'll be like a question mark. But we're not gonna really mind any of those. We just want to have the 20 HP. So I was a little confused by the wording on this, but uh, I'm pretty sure you just need the 20 HP one, which because I've, I've done this before and that's the one I used. So just if you have want to do this glitch, just make sure you don't go to Naval Rock. It's another glitch you have to do. But uh, the whole battle pyramid gold symbol thing makes this encounter easier or more off. It happens more often than uh, if you were to just go to Southern Island. So. Sorry, those who have Italian version, it's going to probably be a little longer, but you can get lucky. Also, your bad egg can be shiny, and that does nothing. It means nothing. It won't be anything. It has a pretty high chance of sparkling when you send it out. I don't even know if that means it's shiny, but don't don't have don't throw your egg out. Have it be sh like shiny and be like, wow, this is really rare. I should keep this. That, that means nothing, so... Just want to let you know, it's just one of the eggs you can get can be shiny. So, once we do this, I hope it happens soon, I will show you what to do next. So, I want to be clear on this, you do not want to save in this cave at all. You want to save back at the reporter before you talk to her. So, if you run out of uh, um, fluffy tails or something happens, you just turn it off and start over from the... Um, the reporter, and then, t like, use the palm egg berry, then talk to her, and then come back over here. So, don't save in this cave. Only save once this glitch is done, so I will let you know when it's done, and we gotta get to that point, but just don't save in the cave. Save before the you talk to the reporter lady. I'm gonna find a shiny before I get this thing. Oh, okay. Um, I think this is it. Let me double check, because I feel like last time, this wasn't it. Or I feel like, la or I feel like, 
that it had full HP last time I did this, so like, um, let me just double check and make sure that this is it. I think it is. Okay, so I got it. That took a while. It didn't take that long, but it took kind of a while. Um, just a heads up, I've used about 40 of these things. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it did take a while, like 40 encounters. So what you're going to want to do once you get to this point, uh, you're going to want to go to your bag. You're going to want to have a revive on you, which I hope I do. I do. I have a bunch. I usually have revives. If you don't have a revive, then I don't know what you're doing. You usually should have revives. But if you don't, before you do this glitch, just get revives because you don't want to find the finally find the bad egg that you want and then not have revives because that would be bad. So you're going to revive one of the regular Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you don't want to revive Banette or whatever had one HP. Yeah, you can't even scroll over to it. Just revive either Wingle or Sharpedo, whatever you use as Surf or Fly, just one of those normal Pokemon. And then your, uh, your bad egg's HP is going to start falling. And this will take a very long time. Last time, I think this took me two hours so what's gonna happen it's it's got a crap ton of hp and it'll start to fall and it'll go all the way down to 20 i don't know what that is i think it's like a thousand or something it's probably actually i think it's way more than a thousand i think it's like a hundred thousand or something like that but uh it'll go down to uh 20 i believe 20 and then it'll start falling again and it'll do that like two or three times. So it'll it'll take this long process, which takes about like 20, 30 minutes, and it'll do it like two to three times. So obviously I can't do anything now. There's no option to like hit anything. You can reset, but that's you don't want that. This is just gonna take a while. You're gonna wanna take your handy dandy charger cord and plug your, your Game Boy in because this will guarantee go on low battery at some point during this because this is gonna take forever. Um, you gotta be patient with this. You basically just close your Game Boy, let this thing fall down, and then, uh, hold on, I think my recording's gonna cut out. Okay, so as I was saying, you're gonna wanna just, like, plug your Game Boy in to charge, uh, close it, go do something else for a few hours, check back periodically. As you can see, the number is starting to, like, show, but that's still, like, a ton of HP you once it starts I think once it hits 999 that's when you start seeing the actual HP of it and then yeah it'll repeat like two to three times you basically wait until it lets you like do something again and then what you do is like once it brings up this menu that means it's done and it's done all the HP thing over and over again you're gonna want to use a fluffy tail to run and then you have done it so that is that's actually all of the glitching because at that point, you just take the tickets off of the Caterpies, and then they're unlocked. Um, I'm going to get into that, though, because I want to show you how to shiny hunt Mew and Deoxys, because it's different in Emerald if you're not aware. You can't just soft reset for them. You have to get a different way of doing this. So, I will be back. This will take a while. I'll be back once I am done. So, all you do is once this hits, like, 20 HP, brings up the menu again, gives you the option to fight, use bag, Pokemon, or run... That's what you're waiting for. Then you're going to want to use a fluffy tail like you have been run and then get out of this cave and hope you don't encounter any more Smeargles. So, yeah, this will take a while. So I will be back probably in a few hours. <laughs> so I'll see you then. Okay, guys, I think this took a little over an hour. Not, like, too bad, but I think I got lucky that time. I feel like last time it took me, like, two hours to do this. So uh, it stopped. It gave me the menu. And now we just want to go back and use the Cola Skitty or the Fluffy Tail and run. And that is it. You have unlocked the events. All you have to do now is obviously switch out your Pokemon. Let's fly anywhere, actually. Let's go to Lily, Lily Cove City. I don't remember if that was the name or not. And we're going to want to... Oops, wrong one. Uh, let's get a party that we want. Um, I'm going to try to not actually save for this because I want to set up my hunt later. I'm going to use a Smeargle to like false swipe uh, the Mew and potentially Deoxys. But until then, I hope this glove doesn't... Yeah, that's the good level. Let me just exit out of that. 
Let's see. Get rid of Sharpedo. But what I've done is, uh, if you want to false swipe Smeargle, obviously you go back to Artisan Cave where we got where we were fighting the Smeargles. And I have a Breloom that has um, Spore. It's, uh, I think, level 54 is when Shro only Shroomish can learn Spore. So I just leveled him up to 54. And then he evolved, so he's a Breloom now, so he's better. And then Ninjask can learn false swipe. So I have false swipe. I'm going to do a double battle or something to... Um, Get these guys to sketch, get a smear to sketch that. And my game is not really focused too well. Um, there we go. So, yeah, so we got those. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the encounters for you. But, oh, shoot, I have to take the, the items out because I'm stupid. Go over here. Go to move objects or items. Bag that one and bag that one. That's the old C-map and the Aurora ticket. And I believe this will work now. I think I can uh, get... I'm going to refrain from saving. Where am I going? Just in case I got the wrong egg because that could very well happen. But if, if I got the right one, she should like go into the thing. Yeah, there we go. It worked. She's going to talk to the captain about the old sea map. This is just how the event went. So we have unlocked the events for Mew and Deoxys on Pokemon Emerald without using a cheating device. How about that? Isn't that cool? So I guess we're going. I think you can just leave. So... Let me actually, yeah, okay. So let me save here, and I'm gonna show you how to hunt this thing. So, so now in, uh, you don't wanna use the synchronizer because that could screw things up. In Pokemon Emerald, the RNG is like totally messed up. You guys probably know this, but uh, you cannot soft reset for like legendaries and stuff because it's based on the amount of frames. Like you have a one in 8,192 chance of, um, getting the right frame to have a shiny like each frame has a 1 in 8192 chance of being a shiny and it's 60 frames per second so if you keep resetting you're gonna odds are get the same few frames over and over again which aren't shiny and uh you have to do runaways and you can luckily do runaways for both of these things so what you gotta do is for me you save here now i don't really know the best way to find you but i think you have to like go up over here because he kind of like runs away from you Okay, well, I'm just going to figure it out. You just have to try to find Mew and get him cornered. Just like that. And that's a regular Mew. So, and if you don't even want to shiny hunt it, you can just get Mew and uh, catch him. He's pretty easy to catch. He's one of the few mythicals that are really easy to catch. But all you have to do is run away if he's not shiny. Uh, there is a strategy to uh, actually do really fast runaways from Mew. You have to, like... You can search it. Just search people shiny hunting Mew and you'll find it. You go like up over here or something. Uh, it, but it's like really fast. So Mew's back. You can just keep doing that. Now I'm going to see if I can actually hold up. If I can actually go to the other one. Because last time I did this, I just caught Mew and then proceeded to go to the island with Deoxys. There we go. Yep, now we're doing the event for the ticket. So you don't have to do them right away. You can save them for later. But we have unlocked both of the events. I will show you how to do the uh, Deox. Deox is how to do quickly. So let me save here. So again, you want to do runaways. You're going to want to save right here. Because obviously you can't reset for it. So basically, I figured out this... Path. I'm going to try to explain it. So you see how this whole thing right here is a triangle and then that's a triangle. You basically like it went this triangle went into the bottom left of the triangle. So you basically want to just ta like click on the opposite side. So I'm going to do the right side and it works. So now he's at the top. I want to click on the bottom. 
Now it's on the right, I wanna click on the left of it. And then again, up here to the left. It's just opposite of what's at, then top, and then right, and then left, and then top, and that is it. So just do that every time. It's kind of annoying to do for Runaway, but you have to do it every time. And it's got cool music too. And we don't have a shiny Deoxys. So that is how you get them. Um, if you have any other questions, Runaway, um, he runs away, you just enter this place again, leave. So then you just come back here and do it all over again. Oh, I screwed that up apparently. So yeah, you just do it again, just like that. And yeah, you can encounter Shiny, Deoxys, and Mew. They can transfer up to Pokebank. I need to mention really quickly that if you want to transfer them up, in order to get them to Gen 4, you have to first trade them to an English uh, GBA game. You can't do it straight from a different language, um, like Emerald version, unless of course you're transferring up to like a Spanish platinum or something like that but you gotta you gotta do english to english it won't register it when you're trying to migrate so you have to trade i'm gonna trade them over to probably my sapphire version first and then transfer them up so gotta get i had to let you know that first so yeah that is how you get shiny mew and deoxys in pokemon emerald thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff if i get more information on an english version i might make a video let me know on that but uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.